Hi guys and welcome to a new series that me and Z are going to be starting. So it's LD and Z, or Z and LD. Which one sounds cooler, Z? LD and Z. LD and Z. So we're going to go with LD and Z. So we're going to call it Zakia. This is basically a series that is all about giving you guys some tips and tricks and things like that to actually improve your buildings. And this one's going to be on lighting. So um, yeah, what are we going to be covering, Z? We are going to give uh, our people the know-how on how to actually build complete modern lighting for houses exactly. in those dark, eerie places. Yep, so we're also going to cover hidden lighting and, and some tips and tricks that you guys probably don't know about. Um, so I think the first thing we need to kind of show these guys is what is light levels? And, and this is something that I've grabbed um, from the actual Minecraft main pages. Now there's different light levels in Minecraft. Um, you got like beacons which are 15, end portals are 15, fire 15. That's just really, really high level lighting. Sometimes you don't always want it. You don't want your house to be stupidly bright, do you? No, no, so, definitely not. Exactly. So what we can do is you can actually use different types of lighting or, or different blocks um, to actually bring out different lights. Uh, for example, furnace is 13 instead of 15, so it's not super bright, but it's bright enough to actually you know light up a room pretty well, like a small room, like a garage or something like that. Which does have low level lighting. Um, Gives so it a nice warm feel as well, doesn't it? It does, yeah, exactly. The only problem with it, of course, is the particles. But, yeah, people don't really mind that. Um, so I'm just going to go through these quite slowly and just show you guys because uh, you can grab this information on the internet. Um, now, there is one that we haven't been able to get in this because we're on um, a different version of Minecraft. We're not on 1.9 yet, but Endrod will be, a, will be 14. I think that's going to be really interesting to be used. In modern, especially because it looks kind of like a lamp, um, so mm. that's going to be different. Uh, but there we go. Never portal as well. That's an eleven. That's a bit of a different one. <laughs> uh, I you like don't get, that though. You don't see. Yeah, it's kind of like a weird lamp, isn't it? Could find many uses for that. Yeah, so that's that's different. But of course, you have to use something like World Edit to get it, which is um, a bit of a pain for the console people. Um, yeah. End of chest as well. Light level of seven, and so so is redstone torch. So. Slight light levels. Um, now these ones, the ones that have got one, uh, that's what they state on Minecraft. I've I've never seen any light come out of these. <laughs> well, actually, brewing stand. Yeah. Brewing stand. And a beacon. Check this a out. Beacon. Now that will look good. Gonna this is bit. how I do a few things as well. I'm uh, talking about light designs and stuff. I should have put this in, actually. But right. one, two, three. Cool. So there you go. That's another little lamp design. Yeah. Excellent. So there we go. That's what we've got. Now, um, I think we'll probably start from... Well, past the Sakia sign. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, let's... I think we'll just, go, we'll just go around and we'll talk about the different types and different light styles. So I think we'll start with these stairs. Um, uh -huh. So you built these stairs, didn't you? So this is like a very, probably ultra-modern rather than traditional. Well, not ultra-modern. Yeah, you know. I, I'm i always building these my houses. Yep. So let's just talk us through what you've done for the lighting part of this. Okay, what I've done, I with modern, I usually keep a space anywhere you have to jump up and hop and whatnot. So between the two walls, I've actually... Put windows here, clear windows, so it can use lighting this side and the other side. Bro. If you're running down a hall this way, you've got light from here as well. Yeah. But if I chop out this glass, I've made a bush, but inside I put the actual trees and the bushes on top of a beacon. Excellent, cool. And it lights up all under the stairs, and it just gives you like that little fernery inside the house. Exactly. I think for the kind of modern style that you you mainly do. This is really useful for one simple reason. Um, people do put like you know greenery and things underneath it, but actually using the windows on the side, it makes more sense. It makes it more of a yeah. feature that you can see from the side. Um, so you're not wasting space. You're really you're being super efficient with it, really. So I really like that. I really like the use of uh, glass. It's really cool, as well as using it for lighting purposes. So mm -hmm. there we go. So what have we got next? We've got dining room lights. Um, now, I saw Andy Azurda do this uh, with the, the whites, and I think I saw somebody else now. I can't remember who it was. I think it was a person by the name of Merwin. Um, okay. What it is, he just uses dark roofing yep. with a bit of iron bars, 
with a beacon again, yep. and then a player head, which is player one head. three three seven. Cool. So that's just the I think it's yellow or white, isn't it? I can't remember. I've got shades. Uh, on, white so. one. The white one, yeah. So using player heads, that's something I think we can only do on PC. But it depends on the texture pack you're using. It depends on what heads you've actually got to use. So um, I'm sure, guys, uh, people can actually come up with ideas for these and just attach them on. There we go. Yep. So we've got that one. Now what we've got next, we've got the bookshelf light. So this is another one of yours. Yeah. Now, this is quite um, cool. A lot of the time I usually use, I mean, you see people, they, they cram lots of books and, you know, it's like a library inside the house. Yep. And this one is like just a little shelf where you can put, I mean, you can actually knock that off and put like a, a little detail on it as well. This is for Stick ZMC. If he's watching, pot with a fern in it, you still get that color. <laughs> you yep. get the colors with the actual color books, with the greens, with the tree, plenty of lighting at the back. So you can have that as a wall feature that's to really heighten cool. up your um, bookshelf. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's really cool, especially using the. You know, glass panes to push it back an extra layer. Uh, it just creates more depth and more interest in the back of it, which is a lot better, especially when, like you said, you do get people that just do a solid block for the actual library pieces. <laughs> and you don't need yeah. it. You just need something that's simple, that draws attention. But, um, yeah, nice and Very simple. effective. I really like that. There you go. Let's just go to that. So the next thing you've got is kitchen oven light. So what have you done here? So pretty much this is just a basic wall. You've got your drawers and your cupboards and stuff and your range hood. But underneath the glass is a lit furnace. There you go. So once you cover that back in and mm -hmm. put a glass over the top, it yep. uh, generates the light up the wall and once again it lights up the kitchen. Yeah, I think the really nice thing about this is because you're using the lit furnace, because it's that grey, uh, it doesn't look like, for example, if I just switch out one of these for glowstone, it becomes really glaringly obvious that you've used glowstone, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's a bit nicer just using the, the actual lit furnace, or constantly lit furnace. I don't actually do it. So there we go. That's a nice design. It gives it that nice warm feel again. It does, nice yeah. House. And also goes with the colours, especially if you're using greys. Mm. So that's always Most good. definitely. Okay, so next we've got the ceiling furnace. So there we go. Yeah, this is the basic one. This is very easy. Just pretty much a lit furnace yep. and a ceiling. It is super duper basic, but works. Um, the only thing, of course, you get with it that people have to that might bug people, of course, is the particle effects. But that's the thing about the furnace. I think that's just how it is. Yeah. So it depends on depends on you know how people feel about that. There we go. So now next one is hallway lighting. Yeah. So I this one here um, I've used on a couple of my private builds where you're running down the hallway sort of thing and you come across plenty of lights. Yep. You don't have them hanging from the ceiling, mm -hmm. but you've got them pretty much basically on the side. Uh, this is a bigger scale, obviously. I mean, you usually do it, you know, about that high. Yep. If you look very carefully, it's like something out of Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. That's very cool, though. There we go. So simple. Just got your glowstone on the back. So it's quite yep. big, but um, it depends on what your build is. And then just using glass panes behind that. I think I definitely... You go. go on. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say. Oh, in... okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say in flows as well. Um, I'm not keen on the glowstone block, but actually using no. glass in front of it does make it look more like actual lamps. It's really nice. I think it illuminates it more as well. It does. Yeah, it seems to. I don't know if it's just. It does on that block on this block right here when you put it down. It gets a little bit more light. It's interesting. That's cool. Yeah. Right. Was that? Were you going to say anything about this? Oh no, no, no! I no? was just going to say that the light is more illuminated with the actual glass ah, being okay. put through it. Wicked. Okay. Now you've called this one reverse light. So yes. What's going now on this here? is this is one of my favorites. Okay, and pretty much I can show them how to do this. Is knock out four window or a one window, put your glowstone in, grab yourself a picture, pop it on, like that. But then you come around the back, and it's a reverse light. So you can yep. put another picture on, and it will come through the other side, and it lights up both sides. So you could have a wall separating, and yeah. Exactly. So it's pretty wicked, really, isn't it? So it's a nice, simple design, but um, it's really effective. Um, one thing I would say is I always to make sure that you've got something that looks like a lamp at the top. 
um, with these ones because it brights up, makes it so bright sometimes um, that you kind of have to make it look like there is a light source already in, even if it's just something simple or, you know, if it's a really high ceiling. Oops. Okay, you could have something stupid like that, I don't know. But still very, very cool. There we go. So that's that yeah. One. Okay, so this is Depth Frame Light. So this one is quite interesting, I think. Now this one's it's just pretty cool. Um, people like building with depth, and I think this one would be good like for when you're looking walking down a hallway and it's yep. just like the centerpiece down the hall. Come in, and what it is, it's just pretty much a little box. Yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, three by three by four, yep. three by yeah, three by four. Two beacons, bit of sand with water underneath. Mm -hmm. You can put the sugar canes in. Yep. And then pretty much. Slabs all the way to the top. All the way to the top. And it's given the light from underneath, and it's given like a little bit of picture. And if yeah. you really wanted to go a little bit further, you just grab yourself a glass pane, and boom, put that in there as well. Cool. Just a bit more detail. Wicked. There we go. So this one is probably one of the most, well, should be one of the most commonly used ones. Oh, the under the rug light. Under the rug light, <laughs> yeah. So this one, this one, because of the whenever we got carpet, it's just brilliant for it. So simple, shove your light underneath there. One thing you can do that I think um, some modern people do forget is that you can throw it a couple blocks in the ground to actually le like lessen the light level. So if it looks too bright, just cut it down a bit and just build up all of your um, carpet pieces up to it, and that works just to just to lessen it a little bit. So it depends on what you actually need. Now, oh, that's one of the ones I use all the time. Yeah, this one. definitely. It's the most easiest to do, especially in modern buildings, because you don't usually have anything underneath it. Uh, you mm. do sometimes, but you usually have that space, so it's best to use that space and maximize it. Uh, now, this yeah. one's something that I actually learned off Andy's Yoda. Okay. Um, if you actually use... I'm just going to grab the normal snow. If you actually use the normal snow... Oh, and you can't build it up there. There we go. And actually build all the way up. This actually lets through light. So instead of using a snow block, actually just using the snow layer to build up that block, even though they're the same, basically, uh, they yeah. actually work slightly different in Minecraft. So this one lets through light. Oh, uh, cool. okay. So, um, yeah, it's just different. Something a little I bit like different. it. So, um, yeah, that one's really awesome. Um, now we've got a couple more. I might as well jump through to these examples over here, and then we'll get onto that section. All right. Um, so similar to the one that you did before, this is my leaf one. But one thing that uh, I'm not too keen on is when you can actually see the glowstone block right underneath it because you can tell that it's, you know, obviously there. Yeah. So one thing that I do is I use glass. So that's still admitting uh, light. It's not admitting as much light. But you can only tell when you look, you know, directly above um, the block. So it kind of hides it even more. And then using, you know, something like this, which is a garden light, um, and then pretending that the light comes from that by using the actual... Um, underneath the leaves behind it. I like so it's it. Something a little bit different. So you can actually make your garden lights look, you know, they're not usually super bright on garden lights, but um, you do get them around. So you can shove those around, which makes more detail for your actual gardens. And then you get the lighting level, so it actually looks realistic at night. So a little bit different. I like it. Um, next one, super simple, like we've said with the lit furnaces. Um, yep. Shove them in the ground. <laughs> simple nice. as that. So mix it up change it around, all that kind of stuff. It's a really super simple one, that. That would go really well for a driveway as well. It would, yeah. You could actually throw it in. As long as you mix it in properly, and you don't have to use all of them as lit. You could use them as normal furnaces as well, so it doesn't look like it's all lit up. Um, but yeah. Then, yep, definitely would work. I mean, you could even have it on the side of a driveway, couldn't you? Almost like yeah, a, most an actual definitely. featured path or something like that, which has got some colour in it. So, or light I've never it. thought of, never thought about doing that before, man. All right, cool. Um, of course, if you're more of a traditional builder, build a traditional fireplace. Ah, uh, yes. So I've got a small example there with a little guard on it because um, well, I'm just it, warming my ass. Just <laughs> warm your ass. <laughs> there you go. I mean, it's just as simple as putting in a fireplace and just making sure. Uh, one thing in modern to make make sure about is make sure that your floor, you've actually got a hearth. So this is to stop the carpet from setting on fire, um, yeah. and then you've got an actual guard as well. To stop Jimmy from crawling in the fire and setting himself on fire, and you have to make him <laughs> a kid. So um, the two simple things, at least in in modern, to keep keep aware of, um, and also mantelpieces are great uh, for little bits of detail. 
So there we go. Awesome, man. I like it. The next one is my least favorite out of all of them. It just slabs and stares. And oh, yeah? I think it's obvious why I don't like this one the most. Whether like the the blotchiness, like yeah, the... the blotchiness of like you don't get a full spread just because the way the Minecraft works. Because there you go, that's what you get if you have no slab on it. But you slab it up and you get that. And uh, yeah, it does let through some light, but it just makes the shading really weird. Um, so it's not my favourite, not at all. But you can do it if if you need a tiny bit of light. Yeah. Okay. So the effective. next one. Yeah, it's effective definitely. Um, the next one. Something that people that I didn't actually know before this, I think Z did. Uh, you can shove a glowstone yeah. block underneath and then portal. So if you're using it for a plant, you can actually hide your lighting underneath there and it'll just give you that light level. Again, throw it in the ground a couple blocks if you don't want too much light. I should be able to just do something like that. So there we go. Pretty simple. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's a nice little one there. Same with the daylight sensor as well. That one doesn't even block it at all. So, um,. A little bit interesting, but I, I don't know where you can use this one. Because we really use these for uh, solar panels, so I'm not too sure how useful it is, but I'm sure somebody out there is going to come up with something. Maybe even a... Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> somebody else will. There you go. Um, yeah. What are you figuring? Oh, there you go. Chairs. Chairs. <laughs> actually, no, that's pretty good, actually. I don't even think about that for... Mons actually, that makes an interesting chair, doesn't it? Texture-wise. Sun lounge with pillow. Sun lounge with pillow. There you go. So you can hide lighting underneath there. With you. <laughs> right. So then next we get the end of the chest. Not going to get used that much, but it does admit light. Uh, or adm admit light. As you can see, it's really difficult to show you guys, though. But it does give out a tiny bit of light. Um, so you can just use it by itself without anything underneath it. Uh, next one, of course. Chests do let through light. So... There is a danger with this one that the chests look really bright. Uh, they just seem to really brighten up as soon as you put down one on, on top of it. But again, it depends on what you're doing. And also if you want to make a little feature like I've done here with the glass around it. Because uh, the glass border, especially in flows, is quite good. Um, mm. Because it's quite thick. So it, it kind of hides it a little bit more. I like that. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Uh, trap doors, of course, do let through light. So what I've done here is I've just chopped a trap door. This could be like a shower. For example, um, and then I've gone down a couple more blocks so that it's not too bright again. I've just used carpets so that it feels really dark when you actually look down, so you don't see the light, but it is emitting light. Very good, man. So there we go. Right, let's jump over to the next lot. So you've got a couple of lamp designs here or ceiling lamps. So yeah, this you, is uh, um, talk through these ones. All right, well, this one here is uh, pretty common in modern houses. Um, pretty much, you do it in or three in height. Yep. What you do is you just whack up a bit of glowstone and then it's a bit of trusty weld edit. You just put a block down, weld edit, and it's um, replace whatever block it is and mm -hmm. pot. P O T. Wicked. Gives you that. There you go. I think this one's really cool yeah. as well. I, I do like that type of type of lamp design. Especially when you're on a side angle. It looks it does look like small lights. So Always good. Wicked. Yeah. Okay, what have we got next? This one here is uh, pretty much if you're using it for a long hallway mm -hmm. and it's a high ceiling, you can just have that. Or you can have it as an entryway as well. Yep. But it's just basically, you know, one, two, and three sort of shape. Cool. Nice and simple. And you've actually doubled yeah. up on the light here as well. You've actually used uh, glowstone right at the top, then beacons. Yep, just to give that like, extra bit of um, shine from the top yep. and then beacons from the bottom. Wicked. Okay, so the next one that I've done, uh, this one's one of my ones, uh, just window light. Super simple. I think probably the lit furnaces would do better here. Um, but, you know, if you've got some windows and they go all the way down to the bottom, you can just shove in some lights there um, so that from the outside as well you get a bit of a shine. But, um, yeah, this is a simple design. Really simple, but yep. I like that. Kind of works out. Right, what have we got here? We got a big chandelier. So this is for those rich people. Oh yes. Um, for the mansions and the modern mansions or traditional, yep. uh, big entrance uh, chandelier, mm. which is pretty much um, 
I've got two beacons in there. Cool. So it can actually shine from the top and shine through to the bottom. Yep. And it's just reflections on white glass and clear glass. I really like the clear glass of this. I really like that. That looks wicked. Because it just it makes it a little bit different, doesn't it? Yeah. So I actually go. copied and pasted that from my mansion over there. Ah, okay, wicked. Cool. So we got that one. Um, the next one is a lampshade. This is one I've used recently, actually. Um, so to hide lighting or to make it you know less obvious, you can use beacons, you can use glowstone, and just use your glass blocks or your glass panes. It's a simple one, and I'm still not sure if I like it or not, but um, it's the closest we got to a lampshade in Minecraft, I think. Yeah, <laughs> so there well, we go. it works. It does work. It's just whether I like it or not. I'm not sure. I'm not sold yet. Right, now what we've got is the hidden lighting. So this is um, stuff that people might not know about. For example, invisible fire. Uh, so we've got invisible fire in this room, uh, which is quite good. So of course, if you do have sound on, you can hear it. But there you go, there's the that's your fire itself. Now I am going to throw up a torch just in the corner so that when I do delete this, it's not completely black. Yeah, because it goes really dark. So the way that you guys can do this is if you grab a glass uh, grass block and also... Grab t double tall grass. If you do slash I fire, I think on um, normal normal mode you can do slash give and then your name and then you have to do fire and then you actually get it. But put it in the center, just put your grass block, put in your double tall grass, put your fire on top of it and then you just punch out that block bottom block there and you can get rid of the grass like that. One thing to be aware of is to be careful with doing this against walls of course. Oops, I'm just going to set fire to that. So if you do it against the wall, like right here, it will, when you delete it, stay there. Okay, I think it's just ceilings then. It's something about ceilings. I can't remember exactly, but there you go. So you can use it like that. Awesome. I like uh, it. And what I've done over here is a little trick just to make it, you know, show where the actual um, fire is. And especially in shaders, this makes the, the quartz slab glow. That's where I've put it, which is right there. So that's where the invisible fire is right next to it. So you can actually use it to make it look like that lamp is giving off light into the room. So there we go. I really, really like this egg with the slab on top for it's, a lamp. It's really cool. So that's just using a dragon egg and then using the slab. This one I actually saw on uh, Operation Realism with Jag the other day. Uh, so those yeah. guys were using it. It looks wicked. Okay, but that's I'm it. Sure. Yep. Slash I122 I122. Yep, that's the one. You get your egg. Awesome. Um, the next thing is using end portals. So this one's not a perfect ideal one, but um, you can do it with slash give user 119. That's the one, 119. Um, now, if you walk into the room and just grab a corner, if you look up, you'll see that there's weird particle effects. So that is the end portals, but you can't see them from below. If you now fly yeah. up to the top, you'll be able to see them. There we go. Oh, so you yes. see the blobs. Yeah, so that's the only problem with them, that you can use them high up. Um, and if you're not too worried about the particle effects, that is, it's like the furnace type one, but it's a little bit stronger, I think, particle-wise. Uh, but that's another way to do hidden lighting, at least. Um, yeah, kind of a bit effective um, and different from the, the fire. It depends on what noises you want, <laughs> if you've got your sound up. Um, but I think, I, like that's, I think that's pretty much it, isn't it, Z? Yeah. Um, now there is there is one more. Okay. Um, cool. Three, two, one. Okay. So we teleported here, and this is another bit of lighting where you can actually make a cinema room. Okay. So explain what you've done here. I know what you've done here, but for the people at home, what well, have you done? Okay. So what I've gone and done is got white stained clay. Yep. Black glass blocks, yep. and all I've done. Just put an edging all around the actual frame. Yep. Cover it back in, and that's the effect it gives. Awesome. But from the back, from back here, you could actually, you know, sit down, wait for the movie to come up. Exactly. So that one is more. I think it's probably perspective, isn't it? Because it mm -hmm. looks flat from back here. It looks flat. It looks like it's just straight in the wall. When you actually come in close, you can tell that it's then a couple blocks back. It's got this entire ring of, uh, of glowstone around it. It's really cool. I love doing my yeah. cinema rooms. So yeah, you love them. Another light. 
<laughs> Wicked. Um, but I think that's that's it from me and Z. So if you guys could actually comment in the section of what you guys struggle with, and uh, what we'll do is we'll come up with similar ideas and things that can help you guys in building and try to give you some examples if that helps. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.